Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Set Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also guys, don't forget, it really helps us here at YouTube if you like the videos, if you share the videos, and you comment on the videos. The YouTube algorithm is constantly watching. <laughs> Big Brother is always watching. So if they know that you like what you see, then they promote our channels. Okay. All right. So I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's very interesting to me. And I have played with this theory for many years. So I got a pretty good handle on it, even though I don't have a good handle on the scientific words for it. Um, someone asked me, why is it that when a person falls madly, deeply in love, not just, I love you, you cool, <laughs> you know, you my ace, you know, <laughs> you know, but you fall in love with someone. Now, everybody hasn't experienced this. I know the person who asked me the question, I'm not even sure if they've experienced it, but they asked me, why is it that when people fall in love, they get stupid? <laughs> why is that? He was saying that, and we've all seen this. We've seen people fall in love and lose their common sense their grasp on reality even if you want to call it that these people um you know th this is a seemingly intelligent person who under normal circumstances would tell another person not to act like this but something happens in the mind or the spirit or the body or every place when people fall in love they forgive easier um, there's a pep in their step. They seem like they're happier and their love can do no wrong, even when they are wrong. Some of the times they will fight you, <laughs> the person who's trying to help them because you say something against the person they're in love with. Um, you've seen people snap. You've seen people bust out windows. You know, you've seen people fall in love and lose it. And this person was like, why does this happen? And see, I think that you have a number of things going on. I think sometimes, yes, the person's in love. And I think this is what happens. Because I think sometimes it could be obsession. It could be infatuation. It can be a number of different things. But let's talk about when it really is love. When the person really falls in love. What happens? Well, scientists tell us that your body secretes different hormones and chemicals based on how you are feeling. So if you're depressed, you nine times out of 10 are secreting differently than somebody who's happy and in love. Why is that? Well, from what I understand, and remember I told you the, the scientific language of it is kind of, <laughs> it's kind of a bit much for me, but what I get from it is that you secrete some kind of hormone or some kind of chemical, whatever you want to call it. And when you're feeling a certain kind of way. So when a person falls in love, I think they start secreting this hormone or hormones could be more than one. Now, why, why is this a problem? That's, you know, a good thing, right? Well, yeah, but think about it like this. What if you're not used to experiencing that? What if you've never fallen in love before? So to me, it acts like a drug at that point. You see, I think a person becomes addicted to those chemicals coursing through their veins, you know, and that in itself isn't bad. But the more you become addicted to the chemical, the feeling that you get from it, the more you're chasing it. So you're less likely to walk away from someone who's making you feel that way. You see, even if the person isn't the right person for you or the relationship is dysfunctional, if they are creating that chemical in your brain, in your body, wherever the chemical is, I think it's in the brain and goes throughout the body. So if this person is making you secrete that chemical or that hormone or whatever we want to call it, I think that that is what it is. You will do anything to keep that shit coming, just like crack. Just like Coke, <laughs> you know, if you get addicted to something, any kind of substance, you will do almost anything to keep it coming. That's why addicts get so desperate and start selling their belongings and their bodies and anything else that they can get their hands on because they're so desperate to keep that high coming. 
And I think that's what happens when you fall in love. I think you're so desperate to keep that high coming that you put up with a lot of shit that you normally wouldn't put up with. And I think you ignore your intuition. Sometimes people ignore their common sense. And I think that's why is to keep that drug coming. Now let's talk about what this drug does. From what I understand, this, um, this hormone, this chemical keeps you calmer. Okay, so it's going to calm you down during times of strife or things going on between you would calm you down. It's going to make you feel euphoric again, the high feeling. So you're feeling euphoric and this person comes along and their smell and their touch and everything about them. You're just drinking it in. You are an addict. <laughs> you are an addict. And I think it's okay when the two people feel this way about each other and they're treating each other good. I think that leads to a stronger bond between the two people. But I think when it becomes a problem is when you fall in love with somebody like I did who is totally <laughs> fucked up, <laughs> okay? So if you fall in love with somebody that you shouldn't fall in love with, if you fall in love with somebody who's crazy, or if you fall in love with somebody who's a narcissist, or you fall in love with somebody who's abusive, you know, if you fall in love with the wrong kind of person, then that's when the trouble comes in. Because again, you're doing anything to keep this drug coming, and that means dealing with the person you shouldn't be dealing with to keep the drug coming. And then the drug got you euphoric. The drug got you calm and letting stuff slide. Well, you know, she ain't come home last night, but that's all right. I'm going to forgive her. You know, think about the times when somebody was in a relationship and they really were truthfully in love with somebody. And you could tell that they were getting played. You could tell that the other person was not giving back that same energy. And you, you see them making excuses for the bad behavior. That's what kills me. That's how I'll be like, mm, making excuses for the bad behavior and going against their normal nature. And that's how you know something's going on because these people are usually seemingly intelligent people. We're not talking about people who lack intellect. We're talking about people who you and I think should know better. But they're in love. They're on that drug, baby. <laughs> love is a hell of a drug, man. And that's why our society loves it. Our society loves love. Western society in specifically, and other ones do too. I've seen evidence of it in many other cultures. But Western society loves sales, baby. We love love. We love the idea of love. Think about when you ask people their favorite movie. How many people will say The Notebook? Anybody who's into love and romance and stuff like that, they'll say the, the, the Notebook or Titanic or something like that. You know, our culture gets high off of love. So that's why you see so many people like I would do anything for love. I mean, that song is like an anthem, <laughs> you know, people scream that song, you know, anybody from the seventies and eighties, you guys know what I'm talking about. Meatloaf. I would do anything for love. When that song would come on in a bar, people would be dancing and screaming and head banging and going off because our culture is addicted to love. Among other things, because we are addicted to some other things too, but that's one of them. I know people who are addicted to their own sadness. Whatever kind of hormone or chemical is created by depression and anxiety and sadness, they always are in that energy. And whenever you try to pull them out of that energy, they get violent with you. <laughs> You're taking my drug, you know? So I'll talk about that one in another video because it goes along with this. But this is all about love. He wanted to know why do people get stupid? They get stupid because they're high off that shit. <laughs> that is why they are high off that shit. They want to keep it coming. They are an addict. And I know this to be true because I only fell in love one time and it was different than every other time. Totally different. I was never that stupid. I wasn't that stupid with anybody. I may, have, I may have made mistakes and been with people I shouldn't have been with for different reasons, but I was never that stupid. 
that was the dumbest I've ever been. And it wasn't like I wasn't aware that it was a bad idea. <laughs> I was aware from day one. But once I fell in love, I just fell. It was like falling down a rabbit hole. And it was nothing I could do. I didn't mean to fall in love. It wasn't something I planned on doing. I was chilling one minute. And the next minute, I had fallen down a rabbit hole. <laughs> you know? And I was, I mean, like, that's why they call it falling in love. Because you just fall. And you'd be trying to catch yourself. Like, what the hell is going on? And you just falling. You know, so I think that that's what it is. And I think that some of you may have experienced this before. Um, I would love it if you would tell us in the comment section, have you ever fallen in love and got stupid? <laughs> that's what I want to know. And if you did fall in love and get stupid, what happened? For me, I ended up with a really fucked up person that I had to escape so I had to get off the drug. <laughs> I had to, you know, get clean, you know, and I had to escape the person. So you all know the Voldemort story. That's my story. If you don't know the Voldemort story, it is a video and I'll put it right up here called Who is Voldemort? And that's my, that's my story. And I fell down that hole and it took me quite some time to realize that I was in danger and I had to get my shit together. So I would like to know your story. Tell me what happened when you, if you fell in love. And um, I know everybody hasn't. So I know that some of you might not have an experience, but you might have someone else's experience that you're aware of. And sometimes they do end well. Like I said before, sometimes that hormone, that emotion bonds the two people. And they're together like my grandparents and had 13 kids and died a couple of months apart, you know? Sometimes it does work out. Love isn't all bad. It doesn't have to be negative, you know? Some people, remember, 50% of marriages end in divorce. That means 50% of them last for different reasons. So some people do fall in love and it's not a bad thing. They have happy families and they move on to have lives together. But it just depends on the circumstances, right? All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So if you want a reading, email me and I'll hook you up. If you would like to chat with me, hit me up on social media. All of my information will be underneath this video. All right, guys, and come back soon because I got a lot more to say. <laughs> Always. See you later. <laughs>